Hello viewers, I had some free time and I made one video for fun. So don't get too excited, this generator cannot work, but I will show you how to actually make it and how to fake it. It's interesting to do some this kind of project just for killing the time and but yeah I will explain later how this can work and how this must work with the magnets and the wires huh? so how you can actually produce current and this is a fake video because you cannot get uh, with w without movement of magnet through the coil you cannot get a current yeah this is this is clear as the wind but you will see how you can uh, what you get and when you finish this you have to do some um, uh, soldering and some uh, cutting the excess insulation um, double insulation from the wire so it, it's good pro it's good for for killing time yeah so, so now are we, uh, now I'm making this antenna part which is really funny <laughs> it's really the, the guy who uh, had the first video live hack 2002 I think it's channel it's called this channel it's called and um, yeah, he really ha had a good idea. Eh? People will always, uh, often um, think that the 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 main thing is this is in neodymium magnets. And yes, these magnets are much much more stronger than magnets you have, for example, in your speakers. Yeah, so these are the these are different type of magnets, really really strong. And uh, yeah, they are used in uh, in wind turbines and things like that, in, and motors, especially if you need a small and strong motor, you need neodymium magnets. And now I'm soldering this antenna, this looks really funny. And this is the neodymium magnet, I'm testing it with other neodymium magnets, it's really strong. And now I need to glue these neodymium magnets on the back side of this coil, uh, just for fun that it's good replica of the original video and of course we need to dry this up and even the strong glue it's not so strong an antenna is falling apart <laughs> all the time so we have to do many times but yeah and okay this is the finished let's say product now yeah this is the original fake product uh, and uh, this should work if you connect here the battery or lamp it should work but it cannot of course but now I decided that I will take take out this back magnet and use these round magnets and now I'll demonstrate how to produce current with such a coil yeah? it's really simple I'm going to weld the solder the uh, the wires on the winding on this windings on this coil and now we are going to move this neodymium magnets inside and we will see if something happens on the milliamp milliamp meter yeah this is the milliamp meter and now we are going to move the magnets inside of this coil and of course you can see on the image we are producing electrical current it's a small current mainly a few milliamps but it's it's working so and this is how the only way it can work yeah if you have a magnet motor it would it would produce the same we need to have a moving 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 magnet through the coil to the copper coil and we are producing the current yeah so this is really really simple and, and fun and this is the how how they how this should work yeah so you can see it on the amperometers the it, it produces really really small it's even changed in polarity but you can see this really well now I am going to take the digital amp ampere meter yeah if we take the neodymium magnet yeah it should also work but the, we don't have enough uh, from hard drive we don't have enough magnet flux yeah and this this also works but it's some micro amperes so it doesn't show on this milliamp meter that something is happening in these wires but if we take a digital ampere meter or voltmeter, you will see this is all connected. Yeah, these two wires, this coil on on our amp ampere meter, and we are when we are moving, we can see that yeah, it also the current is produced. And if you see the minus on the instrument, it shows and disappears. That means that we have a changing current in polarity. Yeah, because we are moving in left and right direction, and the current changes polarity. 
So this is basically it. This is our generator. And on the end, I'm going to show you. So this is the fake, uh, fake product. Yeah, on uh, connected on the battery. I just deleted in Photoshop the wires on the main image that you would see seeing that this working. This is working. One side is actually uh, this side is connected with the glue. Another side is soldered. Yeah. And it cannot, so it would be a short circuit if it if it's not like that.